in the developing countries, a lot of these inflammatory diseases are at a much lower incidence than they are in more developed countries, such as in Europe and the United States. And in fact, some of these so-called inflammatory diseases, such as type 1 diabetes, and uh, some of uh, the inflammatory bowel diseases, uh, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, are increasing at the United, in the United States and Europe at a fairly fast rate right now, uh, relative to what you see in developing countries. And there's probably a number of different reasons why this may be. Uh, and uh, one of them could be, and the one that we've been working on, uh, is the so-called, is, is really the basis for the so-called hygiene hypothesis. And in this hygiene hypothesis, the thought is that the immune system really evolved in the presence of these uh, parasites, uh, these uh, intestinal parasites and other parasites. And in their absence, the immune system doesn't really develop normally, and a lot of the regulatory networks that control the immune response normally are not as active as they would be in the case of, uh, of an individual that might be exposed to some of these parasites. So what we've done in experimental mouse, mouse models is we've actually taken um, mice that spontaneously develop some of these inflammatory diseases and we've treated them with parasites to see if we can activate or restore some of these immune regulatory networks that might control the development of, uh, of these inflammatory disorders. And in particular, this paper that we recently published focused on type 1 diabetes, which is an inflammatory disease. It really results uh, from the um, uh, destruction of the beta cells in the pancreas. The beta islet cells are the source of insulin um, that, um, that, that protects you from developing diabetes. And we were able to show that just by having these parasites in the um, intestine, they were able to alter the immune system so that regulatory networks were activated. They were actually able to control uh, the inflammation that can cause the type 1 diabetes. It's been found that this sort of inflammatory response that's, uh, that's triggered by helminth infection has the capability of controlling a number of diseases, disorders, um, that are associated with inflammation. And these, uh, these range from uh, uh, diabetes uh, to obesity to various kinds of inflammatory bowel disease and even potentially uh, diseases such as multiple sclerosis. So it'll be very interesting in the future to see if we can unravel some of the immune mechanisms that these parasites trigger and then to see if we can harness them and, and really stimulate them to control these different kinds of diseases I just mentioned that all have this um, basis in harmful inflammation.